okay so next um let's just ha handle the submitting of uh the data inside this comment form that's the title and the body okay so let's add in an event handler on the submission of this form so we'll go back to our editor here and um let's see now that we've got the comment form let's say comment form dot unsubmit and then we want to execute this um, closure function here okay and inside there um, we need to prevent the default action we don't want the form going to another page so e dot prevent default or else the form will submit to this page here which is process.php actually let's create that file so let's create it here process and that is where we will process our um, submitted form data so we haven't put any f um, code in there but we will in a moment okay so in here we want to prevent the default action that is the form submitting or going to that process page next what we need to do is grab the parent id or let's say var parent id equals to zero so we're gonna default to that and um, next let's grab um, the title equals to um, title field dot value so if you notice this title field is present because we have cached the um, following fields for the form um, using these jQuery selectors here so we can have easy access to them we don't need to reselect them again that is very good practice for performance because dump selection is very costly so body equals to body field dot val which is jquery's way of getting value for an input so let's see if comment form dot parents dot length is more than um zero well basically what that means is that um since we're gonna have nested forms um of comments um basically if there are this comment that we're currently replying to is not um nested comment we're gonna make sure that the parent um, id is zero but if it is a nested comment that it has to be inside another comment then its parent id will be the comment which it lives inside of okay so let me just show you what i mean by that so we're gonna say if comment form dot parent so um we're going to filter down the parents to media since that is what it will be the parent element dot length is more than zero okay so basically we're gonna set the parent id to the um, id of that uh, media element so we say comment form dot closest media dot attribute um, which we'll need to set soon and um, which actually we want to grab data id okay so since this data id um actually does not exist we're going to have to echo it out ourselves here so for each media element we're going to have to add a data id property and that will be equal to the id of um, that current comment so let's just say comment and let's say id echo that out so in our browser here when we refresh um, now let's inspect um, each comment here we shall see that it has a data id property okay so as you can see media data id here data id data id okay so next let's carry on with um this form submission here so before we do anything let's just um do a console.log of all those properties that we have cached so let's say console.log and uh, we want to log um, the parent id and we want to log also the title and the body okay so i'll come here and i'll refresh let's go in our console here so we want to create one um comment here so if you notice this comment here is a top level comment so its parent id should be zero let's say title and um, let's just say body text when i submit this we should see that the parent id is zero and the title is what we have and the body as well so now when i click on reply here now the comment is a sub comment of this comment 5 so now its parent id should be the id of this comment 5 here which i guess is um, 5 okay so let's go back to the console and now let me just say title 2 and let's say body text 2 when i submit as you can see 
this comment form here went up and grabbed the parent ID, which is this comments ID five and set that as the parent um, ID. And then the title and body is just got from these form elements here. Okay.